It's amazing to me to read official talk about the need for government deposit insurance. If you confront a, convent, a standard Fed official or economist and ask them why we need deposit insurance, they'll tell you about bank runs. And if you ask them, well, what sort of runs are you referring to? More often than not, they'll say, you know, like in It's a Wonderful Life, a movie. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, incidentally, the bank that was run upon in It's a Wonderful Life was a was a, a building and loan society. It wouldn't have been eligible for Federal Reserve support or FDIC insurance, and it was mismanaged by some guy who was too busy. I don't know what he was doing, talking to angels or something, <laughs> instead of managing his portfolio responsibly. Of course, it should have failed. <laughs> But the whole story of bank runs is really quite ridiculous. Uh, the truth of the matter is that most of the time when there are runs on banks, the runs are on uh, banks that are already in trouble. Amazingly, people seem to know which banks they should run on. When Northern Rock was run upon in England, and it was no coincidence that it was. It wasn't just picked out randomly from the herd. It was a bad bank, and people were acting in a way that was quite desirable, really. Uh, of course, some of them might not have gotten their money, but the bank would have been closed, and from the social point of view, that's what you want. Runs are great. They really actually are. <laughs> Nobody cites the run in Mary Poppins, and I don't know why. I, I would think that that's just as scientifically valid as uh, the one in Kepler's movie. Anyway, uh, so, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, we are uh, very much determined to try to swing the pendulum back towards market-oriented solutions. I've got to tell you, I've got to be honest here, this is not going to be a quick victory, okay? It's bad out there. And the only way we're going to make any progress towards victory is by changing people's understanding. We've got to be chipping away at the intellectual foundations of the present regulatory, financial regulatory and monetary framework. Unless we undermine that framework that way at its rotten intellectual roots, we will have no hope of eventually toppling it. So, I'm asking you for your support, of course, but I also am asking you for your patience as we take on this monstrous Goliath that confronts us in the hopes that we can finally achieve real monetary financial stability. Thank you very much. Propaganda they used to hurt